Hi guys, did you guys see Thor? Because we did. I'm Terrence. I'm Art. And uh, we're going to give you guys a spoiler review of Thor, not because we're going to go that in depth about what happened in the movie, because I'm probably going to say something and I don't want to see in the comments that you guys complain that I gave a spoiler. So I'm going to say it now. All right, <laughs> Art, since you went ahead and seen Thor, tell me what you thought about the movie. Okay. At, at, too much comedy. Okay. Too much comedy. That too is what everybody's much saying. Too much comedy. Look, like, mm -hmm. I, I understand uh, Dark World was dark, right? And yes. it lacked a lot of uh, humor, and it was too, at times, it needed to be a little bit lighter, right? Right. I think they took it to the extreme. So like, we're dark, 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 dark. Nah, we're going to go light, but, light, light. But I like the direction that they were going, okay? okay. Uh, I think they were trying to go Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that they were trying to do that as well. And they went Guardians of the Galaxy too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. That's a great analogy. It was like you know, Guardians, they really because Guardians of the Galaxy was funny, and then Guardians of the, Guardians of the Galaxy Two was like, hey, we're open mic night, and we're doing everybody's doing a damn joke, yeah. and that seemed like the, the, what they were trying to do. Except the spotlight of the film was really Chris Hemsworth, which I'm cool with him, him doing the jokes and him being more lighthearted because he's doing a lot more comedy nowadays. But it wasn't what I wanted in well, the Thor film. He, he had more say so in what happens or what's happening in this film okay. than all the others, right? right? The other two. He was like, I'm Thor. Yeah. It, <laughs> look, Thor, the first one, as awesome as it was, which I think was an awesome film. Which I actually did not like the first one. <sighs> you don't know much. <laughs> um, so I actually like Dark World as much as people hate Dark no, World. No, I liked it too. <laughs> I, it did, Dark World. You don't hate Dark World. Come it, see. It was, <laughs> it was, you know, it was a little heavy at times, right? Yes. It needed a little bit more humor, mm -hmm. uh, but it really didn't showcase Thor. Right. The, neither one of those two films showca showcased Thor. The You know, not Chris Hemsworth, not... Uh, Thor without any power. I'm talking about who Thor really was, right? right? So this movie really did capture a little bit more of how awesome he is, yes. how the power, uh, what powers he was, what he's able to do, right? So sure, I more like, of the Thunder God powers yes, to him, especially yes. with you know giving him more of Odin capabilities. When uh, especially with, it's a spoiler, I already said spoiler. It was like when he said, um, you know, hey, what are you the what are you we the God, God of Hammers? Yeah. And it was like, no, you're the God of Thunder. And it was like you get to use that type of type power in this film. So it was really great seeing them move Thor into more of that character and making him more of the Odin type. Yeah. Uh, but enough about Thor because he was a big piece about it let's talk about some of the other characters who were in this film it's like we had Mark Ruffalo and not Paul. enough not enough Jeff Goldblum <laughs> that was not what I was expecting you to say <laughs> Not enough Muscle Jeff. Not, no. Let's go faster. No, not enough Jeff Goldblum. Really? Did you want to see more out of the uh, out of Jeff Goldblum in this? I time? wanted to see more out of the Grandmaster. Really? How about Bruno Fly? Well, that's not what we wanted to see. Uh, but more, what, what more could you have gotten from him? It's like unless they had brought Benicio del Toro in, into this film. He, he is one of the immortals. He's one of the uh, you know. This is one of the five, right? Mm -hmm. And the way they played him, and I'm not talking about Jeff Goldblum, the character, what he brings. I'm talking about the Grandmaster himself. Right. Uh, I was expecting with, you know, Jeff Goldblum playing this character, he was going to steal the scene or at least create a little bit more. If it, it felt like it could have been anyone who played the Grandmaster. I actually Master. thought he did, because uh, I was a little nervous at the beginning of this film or what they were doing with this particular character, and I was like, ugh, that's not what I want in the Grandmaster. But then I got... When all the comedy started to hit, I got what they were trying to do with them. It was like, so it wasn't what I, like I said, this movie is full of what I didn't want, yeah. but a lot of the stuff that I really liked. And that was my overall take of this film. And it was like, it didn't do what I wanted it to do, but what it did do, I did like. I saw, you <laughs> saw everything that was happening. The problem with the, with, with the film is you saw everything that was happening. Okay. You can, you know, when the very opening scene. Okay. Spoiler. Right. Uh, where, you know, he already told him, the title of the movie is Ragnarok. I'm, you know, and then he's explaining. That was a little hokey yeah. at the beginning. And then he's <laughs> explaining his grand plan to Thor. I'm here to do. destroy yeah, all Asgard. This, yeah. yeah, so I and, got okay, that. Okay, so the title of the movie is Ragnarok. He's saying he's here to bring I'm Ragnarok. Here to Ragnarok. So you then all of a sudden they're like. going to come with him. Then, you know, <laughs> then they. Now he's rock. Yeah. <laughs> then, oh, well, Hela's only going to be as powerful as, you know, when she's in Asgard. Right. Oh, let's destroy Asgard. Oh, let's just piece everything together. You saw that coming a mile away. Uh, th that was a little too cheesy. 
<laughs> okay, so um, um, oh, back to back to the grandmaster. <laughs> back to the grandmaster. Back to the grandmaster. <laughs> right. it, it felt as if anybody could have played him. There wasn't. He didn't bring anything to the character. This is one of the immortals. This is one of the five, mm -hmm. right? This right. is. I mean, he barely held it together. Like really, like this is the guy who brought. Who you know th those those who were lost were now found. Is this really the guy who was the who was the first found? Jeff Goldblum only does smart, intelligent characters. For him to be out of that that archetype for the character he was playing was I thought was was cool to see him do something different. So I was okay with Jeff Goldblum playing that particular character. Like I said, I got it after a while, but I didn't get it at the very beginning. Yeah. Now, uh, real quick, moving on to uh, the Hulk. What did you think about them giving us more of a I don't want to say intelligent Hulk? but a little more self-aware Hulk as opposed to just smash, 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 rampage, rampage, yeah. rampage. What did you think about Mark Ruffalo as just Hulk 90% of this one? Loved it. Loved it. See? Loved it. All right, they didn't go gray Hulk, you know, no. doing uh, uh, Mr. Fix-It, but they did do a Hulk that like was a little more aware and seeing what it would be like if uh, if uh, Banner couldn't switch back, back, couldn't switch back, back. If Banner couldn't come back from Hulk. Yes. So you were okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, um, it... it does explain a lot, you know. Uh, though, remember, I'm always angry. Yeah, you know? I'm always angry. Yeah, like he so could switch to Hulk whenever he wanted to. Yeah. but this was one of the times where we got to see like and, he couldn't come back. And the Hulk is saying in the movie, "I don't want Brander to come back." No, you he's know, weak. Pete Banner, he's weak. Yeah, he's like, weak. I don't want to be weak anymore. Yeah. So it's, it's there two personalities within the same body fighting for control of that with that one body. All right, so uh, that was Mark Ruffalo in this film. Uh, one of the um, one of the biggest names that have supposed to have been in this film and what they've been doing in Marvel films going forward was bringing in bigger names to kind of give it a little bit more pizzazz. We have Kate Blanchett in this film yes. being Hela. Well, how did you feel about her character in this film? At times, she seems so fit for this scene. The uh, Believe it or not, the action sequences, she did great. She did great in the action sequences. Oh, my God. I, I thought that's where the weakness was going to be for her. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, it just seemed, you know, she flowed with it. She flowed with it. it mm -hmm. she, she did a lot of stuff for me in that theater. I was like, mm, <laughs> that, that outfit. Mm. Uh, <laughs> except the headpiece. Except that I, I dig the headpieces. You know, we think of Loki's stupid headpiece, which they made a joke about with the whole, it was like he built a statue with his horns and stuff. But uh, I thought her character didn't have enough to do. That's the <laughs> same thing I thought. Look, the action parts, she nailed it. Mm -hmm. What it felt the rest was that her her character felt incomplete. Yeah, she ended up spending most of the movie talking to Scourge. Like, it was like, hey, I overthrew Asgard in like five minutes, and now I have nothing to do but talk to you, Scourge, about what I want to do going forward. Which moves us on to the next person, how did you feel about Carl Urban and Scourge? <laughs> Dude, when I saw him, I was like, oh, this is so... I thought he was underutilized. I thought he was underutilized, His character too. was someone who, at times, battled against Thor mm -hmm. in the comics and, at times, allied with Thor, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he did a lot of switching back and forth yeah. on sides. So. And, and mm -hmm. it felt like he was just this... He didn't showcase anything. Well, they tried to show that switching back and forth with his kind of like, I don't know if I really want to be on board for this. Yeah, but when when he was going to have to chop off the head of, of the, you know. But I'm talking about the character himself, Scourge, right? Who he was. Man, there was the character, the comic book character, Scourge, didn't do anything. You brought in Carl Urban, who I think is freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Greatest bones, greatest dread. <laughs> <laughs> didn't nail it, his skirt. <laughs> uh, no, no. It, I don't think it's that he it didn't nail him, it. He didn't get it enough. He didn't get mm -hmm. it, which I'm mean, I'm sidetracked for just a moment. All right. Okay. So we had Thor. Mm -hmm. We had Hulk. Yeah. We had Hela. Mm -hmm. We had Scourge. Mm -hmm. We had, uh, um, what's his name? That guy. Uh, the guy with the eyes, uh, drawing yeah. a blank. Uh, Idris Elba. Yeah. What's oh, his name? Uh, Hyman. Uh, uh, Who also didn't have enough to do in this film. Yes. It was so, a lot of characters with not enough real estate which, because Chris Hemsworth took it so much with his open mic night. Which is why now this made me have reservations about Infinity War. Really? Yes. Because if they couldn't pull it off with only six to seven characters, main characters, right. how the heck are you gonna do 67? <laughs> that, it, it, as funny as it sounds, but think about it for just a moment. You had so many underutilized characters right. and you had the limelight on one, which 
Chris Hemsworth, look, he was doing good. Too much comedy, but that's not him. Right. That's the way the director wanted it to be. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, Taika Waititi. Uh, Is that correct? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah. that he is more of a comedic director, so yes. I can see why it was mostly comedy in this yeah. film. But if they couldn't mm-hmm. do that with six to seven characters, right? Mm-hmm. Valkyrie. Right. Which Valkyrie was awesome. Valkyrie was Woo. awesome. Oh, and the character was pretty good too. <laughs> um, so you couldn't do that. How are you going to do it with sixty-seven characters? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, we are going to find out. We are going to find out. So that's what we thought about uh, Thor Ragnarok. Tell us what you guys thought about Thor Ragnarok in the comments below. Tell us if you liked it, if you thought it was too much comedy, if you thought it wasn't enough action, which is how I felt about it. What stuck out for you? Uh, Is that it wasn't enough action. There was so much comedy, which I enjoyed, is that it just wasn't enough action for me. And that's why our commenters are going to tell us what they thought about it as well. All right, do you have anything else? Final thoughts? I'm going to have to see it again. You have to see it again. I think I want to see it again, too. Like I said, um, I probably missed a lot of things that were going on. Somebody told me that there was a, a scene where uh, Bala was holding the hammer, and I missed that as well. So can't wait to see it again. But uh, like always, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so that way you know about all the things that we do on the channel, all the videos that come out, as well as uh, tell your friends to make sure you guys become a part of the goods community. All right. So uh, once again, I'm Terrence. I'm Art. And uh, we'll catch you guys with the next movie review. Three, two, one. Pistons, baby. This year we're gonna win. This is our year, right here. We ain't nobody on the team but drumming, but we're gonna win this year. <laughs> Don't you got uh, Reggie Williams? We do, but is that his name? That's his name, right? Reggie Hammond. Reggie Hammond. <laughs> <laughs>